Hello everyone and welcome to my Cinema 4D tutorial on how to texture your Cinema 4D text without putting it into Photoshop. And first off, I'm gonna show you what my render settings are gonna be. So first off, we're gonna go to Output, go to the Preset tab, go to Film slash Video, and go to HDTV 720p 29.97 frames per second. Go to Analyzing and turn from geometry to best. Turn the max level to 2 by 2. And then we're going to want to add ambient occlusion to add to the shadows and everything. And then we're going to want to go to MoGraph, MoText to create your text or however you want to create your text. And go to align and align it to the middle and I'm going to choose a font called Babis, which you can get on Defont.com or anywhere else, just search it on Google, you should find it pretty easily. It's a well-known font. And turn up your depth a bit and go to Caps, go to Start, and go to Philip Cap and turn down the radius to uh, like 1, I usually use. And then to get your texture, usually in GFX packs, it comes with like a tab or a folder with textures and I'm gonna give you these three textures if you don't have any or you can just use your own but I am gonna use grunge wall for my tutorial I'm gonna drag it in and drop it onto your material tab and click yes and then double click on the material and check off specular and then drag your material onto your text and once that's done you'll notice it's not on the front part which is probably what most of you are looking for well to fix this you want to go to projection and go to cubic and then you see how there's a line right here because it can't fit the whole texture well to fix that you're going to want to check seamless and you should be good to go and then once that's done, I'm going to show you the preview. And that is looking pretty nice already. And I can obviously put in a few more lights so you can see, like, right around here, like so. I'm just going to make a light. Maybe make another light. And let's see how that is looking. Now obviously, just because it's a tutorial, I'm not putting the lights like exactly where they should be. So you can take your time with those and put your lights wherever you need them. You can maybe put a softbox. And that's basically all. And I'm going to show you what the other textures look like on this text and just do the same steps as I showed you just drag it in cubic seamless let's see how that looks and you can put a floor or whatever you can export it to Photoshop put it in a background or image desktop wallpaper you can use whatever you want it for and this is a bit more high resolution texture so it might look a bit better and that's that texture and for the final texture right here I'm gonna drag that on cubic seamless and let's see how that looks I'm gonna actually move back my light a bit because that looks really ugly Gosh, it still looks so good. That should do the trick. Oh my gosh. One second. There we go. And if you only want the text to show on the front, and you want 
the sides to be like a certain color, like it doesn't really matter, like white or black or purple, blue, green. I'm just gonna choose white just because it's white. And that dragon create a new one of these, just hit control C V or Command C V if you're on a Mac and put your material on your new Motex drag your new Motex back just like an inch and go to caps and jump the radius by one and that should make the sides white like so if this tutorial helped you out at all you should consider subscribing because I make a lot of videos like this like the video and post a comment on or video response of you using this. Thank you guys. Peace.